What's up everybody, back here with RPG Maker MV. Today we're going to be learning how to make an event of an NPC that chases your player, and when the NPC touches you, game over. So we're going to start off right here. We're going to click. We're going to call him Enemy. We're going to choose the image for our enemy. Killer. I've downloaded, uh, I've, I've bought some DLCs and everything for RPG Maker MV, so I have other tile sets and characters and sprites to use. Uh, this is the pop slasher forest. So we're going to go ahead and pick a guy to chase us. So his uh, movement type is actually going to be approach because he's going to come up to you as soon as you, uh, as soon as you start the game, he's going to, he's going to start following you. We're going to set his frequency to normal and highest for our speed, normal frequency, highest, same as character. You can't walk through them. The trigger is going to be event touch so when the event touches the player then the uh, contents over here are going to start firing off okay the contents that we're going to use is going to be first thing we need to do is show an animation for him attacking us and we will do slash physical so when the event touches us it's going to slash phys uh, slash physical and it's going to slash physical. It's going to show the animation on the player. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we are going to change actor images. So after he slashes us, you don't want to just say game over. It's better if you show something happening. So we're going to fall to the ground. So we're going to change our actor image. We're going to find a down post for our same actor. Hit OK. So now that's going to change the actor to down after he gets hit. He's going to fall on the ground. And now we don't want game over to happen the second he falls down. So we're going to wait one second. Then we are going to go to scene control. We're going to hit game over. Apply. OK. We're going to hit play. Test that out. OK, he's coming after me. And if he catches me, I'm going to go down, and I will show you. So now we've just made made an NPC that, uh, that'll chase you down, and it's game over if they touch you and, and hit you. Uh, if you noticed, it was already night when I started my game. Very simple how to do that, not not too hard at all. I have an event up here that right now that I'm calling night, and it's parallel, the trigger is parallel, so it's running alongside everything else, it runs automatically. And the contents is just script. And uh, script seems a little scary, but it's okay, all you need is this right here. Now this is the exact thing for nighttime. So it's money sign, lowercase game, and uppercase s on screen, dot, Start tent, parentheses, little square bracket, negative 68, comma, negative 68, comma, zero, comma, 68, square bracket, uh, comma, zero, uh, parentheses, and semicolon. Now the zero over here, this outside the brackets, this represents how many frames it's going to take for it to change to night. But I want it to be night instantly, so I set it for zero frames. Now, this bracket right here, the square bracket to the square bracket right here, this, these numbers right here are the exact uh, tent for nighttime. So that's negative 68, comma, negative 68, comma, zero, comma, 68. So you do that, have it run in parallel, and it starts the game nighttime automatically. Uh, yeah. So we'll do that one more time. All right, here. Now we're being chased. It's nighttime. He's trying it, and he got me. Just like that. Now you can make him chase you faster or slower or whatever speed you want it. And you can do this a bunch of other ways, but this is just a very simple way to have uh, an NBC approach you and hit you or slash you, and it's KO. It's the end of the game. So it's a really cool dynamic. You don't If you're making like a little horror game or something, you're not going into battle screens or whatever you are uh trying to avoid the big scary whatever that is so uh all right if you guys learn anything hit the subscribe button 
Uh, I enjoy doing these tutorials. I enjoy RPG Maker. Uh, I'm doing a Let's Create right now on a horror game. Uh, I'll have that coming out uh, eventually. So, uh, yeah, keep in tune for that and probably learn some stuff there, too. Anyways, I hope you guys had a great time. Have a good day. Trick Ghoul, out. Out.